would like to, to change gears about, uh, you know, and introduce one of the um, gentlemen that I've really grew up looking up to. Um, he's, a, I used to call him uh, Bra Rams. He's a, literally a radio uh, mogul. And he's going to be talking about opportunities and lost opportunities. I literally used to listen to him on Metro FM. Hello and uh, good afternoon. It's a privilege to, to have to address you, especially after the previous speaker. Not only because she's good, but I think she also looks good for the screen, which helps her better than me. But I'm going to try and better it by uh, dazzling you with my own story. I was asked to speak on opportunities and missed opportunities, but I thought I'll speak more about missed opportunities because that's what we do. We miss opportunities. That's what we do as SMEs all the time. We always miss the opportunity, even when we are closer to that opportunity, because we're thinking our space is all that we have. That is tragic, very, very tragic if you ask me. And you know what we claim? I'm shy. Really? What you want stands on the other side of shy. And if you move the shy, it is so easy. The environment is not enough for you to determine what's going to happen. Sometimes the rain is good. Sometimes the rain stops you from what you want to do. So you cannot blame the environment all the time for what you're not achieving. And resources also are not always the answer or the stumbling block. And let me explain that. Half of you spend the time applying for government funds for programs like the Sasol ESD, for all other government programs and other funding, because you think that's going to take you to the next level. It sure would, I'm sure. But the lack thereof does not necessarily mean that you're not going to make it. The card that you have in your hand could be the winning card if you think differently, if you work differently. You do not have to be hamstrung by what has been issued in your hand. Who told you that the, the next person has a better hand? These programs are good for all of us. We all need these programs. I have seen people who've come through ESD programs, and damn, I'm envious. I've never been a beneficiary of an ESD program. But in fairness, I never applied for one. But I've seen people who've gone through them and they've done exceptionally well in their businesses. I've interviewed lots of them. But many of them are going nowhere slowly. They are exactly where they started when the program started. And some of them, by the way, have been through so many programs and they have never moved because they are not working the room. When they are inside that room, they're not looking for the next opportunity. They're not asking the right questions. They're not bothering the right people. They're just collecting the notes and missing the opportunities. So think big and then go grab it. It is important that once you've thought about it, grab it. I say to you, your start should not be your end. You can grow your business if you look out for those opportunities, especially those that are not naked to your eye. They do exist. They are in the room that you are not working every single day. And if all that fails, read, study, and invest. And if it fails, read, study, and invest. Thank you very much. Customers will not come to you and say, I want one, two, mm. three, and four. Somehow you must be there. You must be on the ground. You must be interacting and pick the stance um, through some of those interactions. So the question is how um, to SMEs, I mean, I can use um, Sasol as an example. How should they listen to what Sasol want? What is it that they can do to really understand the pain points that Sasol is going through? Because that's where the opportunities are, right? If Sasol is going through a pain point, it's not a pain point to a supplier. It's actually an opportunity mm. to a supplier. How do we distill some of these things? How do we like, make sense of these pain points, opportunities, to make sure we don't really lose them, because sometimes they can just pass by without realizing that, oh, this was actually an opportunity you discovered 10 years ago. Man, this guy complained about this thing. Why didn't I think it's that? Oh, how do you, I know it's a very long convoluted question, 
But it, I think it will benefit me as well. And I'm taking the question advantage. may be long, but it's certainly not convoluted. Yeah. I, I got it. <laughs> okay, and, and in the question you gave me the answer, by the way, I was going to say the same answer, but you gave it yourself. It is the pain point. And by the way, and in case you guys are listening, that's exactly my sales training. You have to push your client to tell you what really causes them pain. Because if you're not solving their pain, you're going to waste time in trying to entertain their happiness. They're happy enough. <laughs> Please try and solve their pain and push them hard. Ask them what is it that they feel that they're throwing money into and they're getting no benefit for. What is it that they spent money on a few months ago and they thought the result was not good enough? What is it that they paid you for that they thought, they thought could have been much better or there could have been something more? We have to ask and listen and listen and find that pain point. The more pain to the client, the more loyal or rather the more accurate they're going to be in describing what they want from you. And therefore you can give client what they want. We get into a problem of giving client what we think client needs. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's true. You know client needs this. But if they're not aware of it, and they have not prioritized it as a need or a want, they're going to find it as a pain point that they're paying you and they, this is not answering it's what they're looking point. for. Yeah. So deal with them first. Give them what, what it really causes them pain and then upsell. Don't come with your bag of solutions and downsell to their pain. Deal with their pain and upsell to the other solutions. Mm.